Okay, guys, we're playing Blind Date. We can't full screen it for some reason. Apparently. And he has holes in his socks. Yeah, it sucks. Anyways, yeah, we, <laughs> this is a topical game for us. We're going to try and beat loneliness. You're going on a blind date after months of loneliness. Jesus Christ. Don't mess this up. You're the one messing it up. You're making everyone think we're gay, boy. If we were gay, we wouldn't have a loneliness problem, Jeremy. I guess. Understand that. Hello. Oh, good. Hey. You made. No, don't say that. Oh, thank God. I thought you were good to show. Don't say That's too <laughs> desperate. Okay, go with B. Dude, this chick looks let's, ugly. Let's, let's go with the cool guy approach. Hey. Hey, bitch. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you're five minutes late. I already ordered my food. I'm already done eating. <laughs> See you later. Here's my number in case you want to call again. In case you want to suck my dick. <laughs> hey. Our, oh, shit. We fucked it up already, man. Did we? Oh, she click, said all right. Click dot, 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 dot. Sorry I'm late. I had to take the bus here because my car's been broken down. It's no you big slut. deal. Happens to the best of us. Ha! <laughs> Shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's do that one. Let's this purposefully do as bad as we possibly can. Alright. I, I suppose it does. So tell me more about yourself. What do you do for work? A massage therapist? Dude. This could get us some serious tail. Oh, oh sensual. sensual. You must get hit with the ladies. <laughs> you must get hit. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really much of a ladies man, if I'm being honest. Okay. Well, you've certainly impressed me. What? Damn. What? <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, I know how to... I know how to the, the woman looks at you for a short, awkward moment. Are you nervous? You look nervous. You're just like, I, I, I've, I'm never been, I've never been on a date with someone whose boobs are as big as yours. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see the options here. It's been a while. Yes, I am. It's, it's been, been a while. Yes, I am. Or, no, not at all. It's been a while. Or, it, say yes, I am. Alright. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Just try to keep calm. I'm sure we'll have a good time. You're just like... <laughs> just, like just, just calm down. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have a good time. You're like... Oh, I have an erection. <laughs> <laughs> my head. My head. <laughs> the voices. They're back. <laughs> so what's your name? Mike? Dick McSteel. <laughs> Long <laughs> <laughs> Long Dong Johnson. Okay, well, let's go with Mike, because that's your dad's name. Alright. Well, Mike, you have a wonderful name, so tell me, are you from around here? Uh. Let's tell her... I grew up here. I know all the babes. No, if you tell her that you just moved here, that opens up options for... That like like you can possible dates exploring elsewhere. So while well, she shows you around, if she's from here. So you want me to say just moved here? Moved here a few months ago. All right. I've lived right. here my whole life. I love it. The air, the trees, and the people. It gets off lonely out here though. Who is your last lover? What? <laughs> Her name was Trisha. That's incredibly sudden. She was a very sumptuous woman. What? What? <laughs> Pardon? Excuse me? Just like, say what? What? Because that was my answer. You heard me. Who was the last woman <laughs> you slept with? <laughs> you heard me. Who was the last woman who you inserted your penis into her vagina until you climaxed? Who was it? Tell me. I need to know. I so need I her social security her number so I can kill her. <laughs> and assume her identity. It's been a very long time if it's really important for you to know. Why can't we answer it? So answer it on... What's C again? Remain, Remain silent. silent? No. That's a, <laughs> who's also when you slept with? And you're just like. Tell her it's been a really long time. If you need to know. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was rude of me. You must forgive me. I haven't been on a proper date in a few years. <laughs> Jesus. Laugh nervously. It's all right. I've been out of commission <laughs> myself for quite some time. Beep boop boop bop. I've been out of commission. Boop, beep, bop. 
Are you going to finish your motor oil? Because he's a robot. I hate you. Because nobody says I've been out of commission. Please, Please don't, don't let it happen again. <laughs> <laughs> Remain silent. We're going to do this one. Thank, Thank you. you. The woman offers a weak smile. I do appreciate you taking me out. This is a really nice restaurant. Tell me, Mike. Do you... Oh, I thought that said <laughs> do you cock for a second. Tell me, Mike. Do you like cock? <laughs> because I have a big one. Do you cook? <laughs> um, I like to cook, but I don't do it a lot because I hate cleaning up. On occasion. Well, that's nice. I cook very rarely myself, but I can admire dabbling. But I can admire dabbing. <laughs> and you're just like... We're done here. So how's Emma doing? Who's Emma? What? Excuse me? Okay. Say who? Who? You seriously don't remember your own mother's name? What? <laughs> what? Is I this a horror game? I don't like where this is going. <laughs> it's okay, that's a little disconcerting. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Say A. What, what, what is A? I know her, but how do you? I was gonna go with this one. No, don't no. freak out. Alright. Don't pause for a long while. You hadn't mentioned her before? Dude, no. we're gonna die. Dude. We are going to die. We're this dead. Is... The one. Uh, the, can you be more forward? How do you. No. Jesus Christ! No, I didn't. Jesus Christ! Christ! No, I didn't. Go shifty as if she's thinking intently. I'm so sorry. The girl at work told me about her. Apparently, your mother used to work for the company. Oh my, you must think I'm some kind of creep or something. Yes, I do. I think you're lying about that. <laughs> a little rude to bring up my mom at dinner. Damn. I'm trying to think little... about getting laid yeah. and making me think about my mom. Yeah. No, don't say <laughs> that. Oh boy, that's a relief. No, don't say that either. Say, <laughs> I suppose that makes sense. It's no big deal, I guess. Oh, thank God, I really am out of it today. Please forgive me. She's gonna fucking end up, like, axe murdering us. Yeah. Why are you here? <laughs> I'm beginning the question. Oh, my God. <laughs> Existentially or situationally? Yes. Situationally, but that's not quite what I meant. What? Why are you here? Why did you feel alone enough to come on this date? Because I haven't been on a date in forever. Let's see. Why are you acting like this? You've lived alone for what, three years, six months, 23 days? God, I can't imagine how tired you must feel living in that lonely condo. Excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Um. Let's just remain silent. Let's hear her out. God, you're pathetic. Did you really think going on a random blind date was going to fix everything? I've seen the way uh, you sleep, the way you drink, the way you pick your nose when nobody's looking. Well, obviously someone was looking. Please stop. I don't need to take this. <laughs> I don't need to take this from you. No, no. Uh, can we just, like, throw that plant in her face and run? <laughs> That's probably the smartest thing to do right now. This is really throwing me for a loop here. Yeah. I thought this was going to be a legit blind date game. I was expecting us to fail hard. This is a fucking... This is a horror game. Yeah. Uh, I don't need to take this. Or... Please stop. Do whatever you'd say in this situation. I'm just going to go with that. I, I can see you shaking all the way from the front door, nervous as hell. I can see... Do you really think anybody would agree to go on a blind date with you? You did. Damn. Just don't want to be alone anymore. It hurts so much. What, what? Why can't we, like, be angry about the fact that she watches us? This guy's not really freaking out about be. that. Do be. Let's be. Let's, you're always going to be alone. Nobody could ever reasonably love you. Um, you're wrong. You're wrong! Because this is exactly what you deserve. You. <laughs> Why? You hate yourself and everyone around you, and yet you reserve the right to feel lonely. Uh, wait, when did we say that we hate everyone around us? Let's just be the most depressed son of a bitch ever. Alright, fine. 
You've been dead inside for years and you don't have the fucking balls to end it already. <laughs> I've seen you staring at a piece of rope hesitant at the top of a building. God, you're pathetic. Dude. Jesus Christ. What is happening? I needed love. You need to realize the truth. You need to realize that you are nothing, completely and utterly insignificant in the grand scheme of your life. It's my life. How can I be nothing in my own life? Yeah, I know. You liar. You're right. right. You're wrong. You're, you're insane. insane. You're insane. And you're a whiny little squirt whose sole purpose is to be unhappy, yet here you are, unaccepting of your own fate. I honestly don't even know why I bothered to come at all. Um, I can't believe I came here tonight. Why are you saying these things? Yeah. Sorry, Mike. I feel your pain. It is coming out in anger. The thing is, how you feel is so harrowing. You seem to lose all sense of being human. It hurts to look in your eyes and see only pain on a blind date of all things. Damn. What? I just want to be loved. I just want to be accepted. I just want to be happy. Loved. Loved. Love me. Everybody wants something, Mike, and frankly, what you want isn't something worth giving. This was a mistake, Mike. You shouldn't have come here. You should have stayed at home and ordered a pizza like you had originally planned. Who are you? Sigh. But you can. No, I can't. I can't ever. Yes, you can. I'm not going to fix your problems, Mike. I'm just going to make them worse. I'm not the solution. People like me are the problem. People like you are the problem. You get in the way of your own happiness. I've followed you for several years. You're my obsession. I've never seen someone so unhappy. What? Go with this one. I don't know. It's something you're going to have to figure out on your own. And yes, I meant it. On your own, you simply aren't fit for a relationship. <clears throat> Some woman who you've never met yet who knows you very, very well. I don't understand. Like, what? Why does the point of this lady confronting me like this? Why? Yeah, I don't, I don't either. Is there a way to actually get her to date you? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know this was going to happen. I understand see. what I need to do now. But I don't know if I have the courage. <laughs> that was me tying a noose. Damn. Let's see. Am I really at fault, fault here, though? Look at this guy. Look at this cold, lifeless, black dot. <laughs> and Look at her cold, lips. lifeless, black dot. They hate each other, and yet they're perfect for each other. She just said I've been following you. <laughs> I know, that's kind of a stupid question. God, you're a mess. I really shouldn't have come. You really shouldn't have come. I'd say I'd made things worse, but you were already a mental wreck before I came here. Um, it's just who I am. I wish I could do it all over again. Too late. Okay, that seems... I don't know why he's asking her like Will she has all the answers. Love? No, no. plain and simple. You know, You're what? barren. The desolate life you led is barren. Does it scare you? Does it terrify you? Because oh boy, it should. Because you are alone. Completely and utterly alone. Look at your life. It's empty. It's lonely. And it's just generally a mess. It's a barren desert. No life. No love. Just dry, lonely land. And dry, lonely, masturbating sessions. So in the end, when faced with your loneliness... Uh, why am I reading this out loud? I don't know, because it, it, it... That's how I read. I'm going to stay. No. And then they make love in the desert. Oh god, what's A? I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm going to stay. Do I'm going to stay. What? What the fuck? Do what? Kill me. What the fuck? That was stupid. <laughs> no, that was awesome. Well, I, I understand the point that the game was trying to make. He was going through a hypothetical situation. Yeah. But, like... It's meaningless because not every woman is going to be like that woman. Yeah, I know, but I thought it was a good game.
I guess. Yeah. It's decent and a good message. Five out of seven. Perfect score. Well. Nine out of eleven would bang. Nine out of eleven would be bomb again. All right. Well, that was that. I guess I'm definitely not gonna go through it again. Cause I'm pretty sure no matter what you choose, it ends up with that fucking torrent of shit being thrown down your mouth. Probably. Okay. See you guys later. Goodbye, friends.